All right. Um, so in today's lecture, I will introduce myself. I will welcome you uh, to this class and then give you orientation of the course. After that, uh, we are going to have solve some problems for financial mathematics, uh, gen uh, ordinary simple annuities. Okay, so that is the agenda for today. Are there any questions before I start? Thank you, thank you, Bruno. Um, all right. Uh, so my name is Pauline Fu. I can be reached at pfu at georgebrown.ca. I have been teaching at George Brown College for 18 years. Usually, I teach mathematics, statistics, computer applications, accounting applications. Okay. Uh, my I did a comparative study uh, to compare face-to-face -face class with an online class, and the result is online class is doing just as good as face-to-face -face class in terms of student perceptions about their learning environment and with respect, with respect to student academic achievement. So you are just on the right mode because this is a fully online class, okay? You are going to learn as good as we used to be in the face-to-face -face classroom, okay? I'm also a proud author of two textbooks published by Nelson Technology about computer applications. Um, besides teaching at George Brown College, I also had teaching experience uh, at McMaster University, DeGroat School of Business uh, for MBA program, Accounting Information System. Uh, I teach at Brock University MBA program, Marketing Research, and also undergraduate program for Information System, Information Technology, Mathematics, and Statistics. My educational background, uh, I have an honors degree from Fudan University uh, in mathematics in Shanghai, China. I also got my business degree, business economics from York University. Uh, finally, I got my PhD from University of Toronto. Uh, alongside these degrees, I also have many, many certificates uh, like Certificate for Network Engineering from Japan and the Management Certificate from George Brown College, Teaching Adult Certificate from George Brown College, okay? uh, and uh, Mathematics Education, uh, that is the graduate, postgraduate certificate from York University. Um, my professional associations. I am a member of research and uh, anniversary, anniversary committee member from year 2013 to year 2017 at George Brown College. I was also involved in Ontario College Mathematics Association in year 2006. My professional development, I give and presentation at University of Toronto Fields Institute. Uh, my presentation title is Vygotsky's Zone of Proximal Development Implications for Mathematics Education. At Ryerson University, Spring 2017, I gave presentation at a teaching and learning conference. Uh, the title is Using Student Created Data to Teach Statistics. So my areas of expertise are lying with mathematics, statistics, computers, um, business analytics, business forecasting, uh, information system, and information technology. I hope my educational background, teaching experiences, and the professional involvement will help you to learn this mathematics for management courses. Uh, once again, um, thank you for listening to my self-introduction. So, any questions so far? 
All right. Uh, so next, I will give you orientation about uh, the course. I need to share the screen. Mm. Can anyone see my computer? Can somebody confirm you can see my computer? Thank you so much. I appreciate your participation. All right. Um, so this course, we are going to use my lab from Pearson Education. Okay, so my lab is an integrated learning environment where you can do your quizzes, tests, and access your e textbook. Um, how many of you already accessed my tab? Can somebody say yes or raise your hand? Thank you, Anna. Excellent. David, Alan, Daniela, Katrina. Excellent, wonderful. Okay, so some students already get in, so you are early birds. Congratulations. Okay, you have almost you are halfway on your success. Okay, you have a good start. Okay. So this access code is the same for everyone. Okay. Uh, I posted this access code on the blackboard. You use this access code to log in. Um my lab. So how do you log in? I will show you the blackboard here. Um, so try to go to the home page. Can anyone see my blackboard? Can someone? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so on the blackboard, make sure you read these three important documents. Course outline, weekly schedule, my lab registration. The most important thing I would say is my lab registration. Okay, so when you register for my lab, you need this access code. See here, you need this access code. It is right on the blackboard. Okay, uh, and how do you register? I give you brief intro step here you need to log blackboard quick pearson my lab um it is here see pearson my lab you need to click this link okay uh, after that you just follow the on screen instructions okay if you ever have questions about my lab you need to email pearson technical support here I am not the expert for technical questions for my lab. Okay, you need to ask questions for my lab if you have registration problem here. This is the help you are going to get. Okay. So that is the my lab. Okay. And now go back to here. When you register for my lab, you automatically get e textbook e-textbook inside my lab okay uh, it is the 12th edition of contemporary business mathematics with canadian application so this is an electronic textbook okay uh, so again my lab questions you email uh, oh this is not nails this is pearson sorry i type it. this is not the right information okay um please check out the blackboard for my lab contact information um so this is the evaluation system this is the most important items over the next 13 weeks okay. uh, 15 weeks we have a test one okay test one is 20 percent 20 percent um it will be on october the fifth from it is monday 
so now 9.30 a.m. 9.30 a.m. to turn 40 a.m. Uh, 80 minutes, one hour and 10 minutes. It is on my lab. Okay, how do you access my lab again? Go to Blackboard and then on the left pin, click PSN My Lab. Uh, test one will cover chapter 11, sections one, two, four. Okay. And then you have test two. Okay. Uh, test two is again on Monday, November 16th from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. 80 minutes or one hour and 10 minutes. So, uh, test two. Uh, actually is a cover, let me cover chapter 12. Okay, so I have to modify this one here. It is chapter 12. Okay. And then you have a 10% case study. Okay. Where is the case study? It is textbook questions. Okay. Uh, it is based on chapter 13 and chapter 15. Specific information you can get from here. Where is the case study here? On Blackboard, if you click case study, uh, I will post information here, okay? Case study here. Once you submit, complete your case study, you submit it here. Okay. All right, so that is a 10% case study. And the final exam would be a comprehensive, means cover from week one to week 14. It is on Monday, December 14th, from 9.30 a.m. to 10.40. Okay. And throughout the semester, we have 10% quizzes. Okay, each week you're going to have 1% quiz. Okay. Uh, so this is the week by week schedule. Okay, so after today, you're supposed to complete chapter 11, section 1 and 2. And you're supposed to complete online quiz on my lab. That is 1%. Okay, uh, next week you're supposed to, to complete Chapter 11, Session 3, Session 4, Complete Online Quiz 2. Okay. As you are aware, we are Monday class. We missed last week. Last week actually was our week one. We missed that because of uh, holiday. So what I'm going to do, so this week you do this. Next week you do chapter, you finish chapter 11, then I will speed up. Uh, I will combine week three and week four together. I will combine week three and week four together so that we are aligned with the weekly activities here. Okay, so the first two weeks we go slow, we go week by week, and I will combine week three, week four together. Okay, uh, so this is the week by week schedule. Uh, I also marked uh, this. The important dates here, okay? The important first date is your test one, October the 5th, Monday. The second important date, test two, November 16th. And then final exam, uh, December, um, is this the correct one? Yes, this is the correct one, okay? So I will also make announcement, usually a few days before the test, to give you a kind reminder. Okay. So this is uh, the course introduction. So again, the important thing is here on the blackboard, under the home page, read these three documents, okay? And make sure you can log on my lab, okay? All right, so are there any questions? I'm going to. Any questions?
Uh, okay, now I'm going to show you uh, what is there any due date for quiz? Thank you so much, Swati. That's a good question. The question is, is there any due for the quiz? Um, yes, I will show you the due date. Okay, give me one second. I have to log on in different browser to show you the due date. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, oops, I'm going to show you the due date. Um, yeah, I'll have something here. Do I have? I think I have something here. The due date for, oh yes, I have due date here. The question is, what is the due date here? Uh, so for quiz one, quiz one is due September 18th. Quiz one, September 18th, okay. And quiz two, September 25th. Quiz three, October the 2nd, okay. The due date is on my lab here. If you click on my lab, you see the due date and also have the start date, due date. Okay, if I were you, I will take picture of this one here. Try to make this smaller. Why it's so big? Make it smaller so that you can see everything in one screen. It is still way too big. So those are the due dates. Okay, I hope you all see it all the quiz due date okay. after final exam if i can okay. other questions and also on the blackboard uh, how this course works uh, this week i will give you the live lecture um, because this is for the online courses i post all my recordings on here did you see online lectures so the following weeks will not have something like this unless you make appointment with me we can meet here or you can email me for any questions so if on the blackboard you click online lectures videos i posted all the videos here week one how do you set up your calculator okay uh, so you need to copy if you cannot directly click the link copy and paste the link to your browser if one browser does not work, for example, if this link does not work on Chrome, you use another browser, Firefox, okay, usually will work. Um, so this is week one, how do you calculate annuities, future values, okay? Uh, and also for next week, chapter 11, section 3, section 4, all the lectures are here. You need to watch those videos. Uh, are those videos enough? No, the video will serve as the foundation, the basics of each week. You need to go over examples in the textbook. I emphasize examples, why? Because example give you detailed solutions. If I were you, I will treat example as an exercise. I will don't, not look at the solution. I will try to figure out myself. Then if I am stuck, I look at the solution. Okay, so those are the online uh, lectures. Okay, watch the video. Okay, uh, so I'm going to uh, post the video. You are going to. <coughs> there is a video. Where is my video? Um, actually, I gave you the link for chapter one, session, chapter 11, session one, and session two. So if I go to YouTube, YouTube, and search my name,
And this is the video I just created yesterday just for this lecture. So I'm going to copy this one, Control C. And then I'm going to Control V here. So that is the link for chapter 11, session, session one and session two. Okay. All right. So I'm going to pause this for a moment. So that is the orientation for this class. Any questions? Uh, I want to stop recording so that you can free to ask any questions. And I will try to post this video on the blackboard.